Hey my good friends, Sam Haymart. For Test Driven TV, the fifth of the all new line of the Mercedes-Benz E-Class has been revealed this week just ahead of the Geneva Auto Show, the Mercedes-Benz E-Class Cabriolet. Our first full look is coming right up. Based on the also new E-Class Coupe, the Cabriolet launches with a cloth soft top that mimics the silhouette of the coupe near identically. Available in a wide selection of colors, the top can be opened and closed at speeds up to 30 miles an hour and it stows cleanly under a hard tonneau cover when down. The body itself, like the new E-Class Coupe, features a lower aluminum hood with a familiar power dome design wrapped around LED headlights. One significant difference is a ride height 0.6 inches lower than the E-Class sedans for a sportier stance. It's also the largest E-Class Cabriolet yet, with a total length of 190 inches. When the top is down, an available active aerodynamic system called AirCap raises a wind deflector at the top of the windshield and a wind blocker just behind the rear seats. Together, they reduce the buffeting and wind noise at speed. And on colder days, the air scarf venting on the seats keeps warm air on your neck. That's pretty nice. Available in several color combinations with near infinite finishes, the cabin is lined with luxurious touches and high technology, as you'd expect. A hallmark of the E-Class is its wide flat screen instrument cluster that when optioned features dual 12.3 inch information screens. The combination allows for multiple design and information layouts that you can customize yourself whether it be driving metrics, navigation, or connectivity features for the audio system. The only question I have here is with the top down, will the sun glare be an issue on the shiny screens? On the road, the E-Class Cabriolet will first feature a 329 horsepower, 3 liter twin turbocharged V6 made into a 9-speed automatic transmission, a high-performance AMG model of follow with yet more horsepower. And this year, the E-Class Cabriolet will also be available for the first time with formatic all-wheel drive to make it practical all year round in colder climates. Also available will be the latest generation of the air body control suspension which features multi-chamber air springs. This is notable because having multiple chambers enables more adjustability and firmness with the drive modes which along with the adjustable dampers allow for a wide band in between soft and firm settings. Mercedes-Benz tells us the new Cabriolet's body structure is also the tightest yet when it comes to rigidity often lost when the roof comes off a coupe. Stiffer body structures, for instance, in the floor and the cowl made of die-cast aluminum are more resistant to twisting than conventional steel or aluminum stampings. The 2018 Mercedes-Benz E-Class Cabriolet comes along a little bit later this fall here in North America with pricing and final specifications to be announced closer to that time. Until then, click right here and see all of our Geneva Auto Show coverage from this year or click here subscribe to our YouTube channel. Either way, stay tuned!